hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a very basic natural makeup look so if you're interested please keep on watching So the first thing that I do is to moisturize my lips and then I'll use this disinfecting wipes with alcohol to remove any excess oil on my brows before using the brow pencil. I'm going to be using a brown eyeliner pencil to draw the shape of the eyebrow that I want. You don't always have to use a brown pencil, especially if you have darker eyebrows. So if you have darker eyebrows, I think it's okay for you to use a black eyeliner pencil as long as you're comfortable with the brows that you have. I have a detailed eyebrow tutorial on this channel already so I'm gonna leave a link to that video on the cards above and you can check it out um, to see how exactly I do my eyebrows. After the brows are done, I'm going to define the bottom part of my brows using the MAC concealer in the shade N250 and I'm also going to use the same concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. To moisturize my face, I'm going to be using this MAC Prep and Prime so that my skin isn't too dry before I apply the foundation. When my skin is moisturized and hydrated, I'm going to be using this Revlon Colorstay foundation in the shade Mahogany and I'll be mixing it with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade Deep Sable to get the right shade for my skin tone. To blend the foundation out, I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender so that the blender does not absorb much of the product and it also allows the foundation to blend very well into the skin. After foundation, I'll be using the same concealer, which is slightly darker because we are going for a natural look. So I'll use it on certain points of my face to lightly highlight them. And those areas will include um, under the eyes, on my nose, the forehead, on my chin and below the nose.
to keep the concealer in place i'm going to set it using the sasha buttercup powder on the areas where i used the concealer and i'll quickly remove it because i'm not trying to bake my face or to over contour my face I'm going to be using this brown eyebrow powder as well just to lightly contour my face. To ensure that the powder stays in place, I'm going to be using this facial spray or you can use a setting spray which also allows um, the powder to blend smoothly into the skin. For my eyeshadow, I'll be going for a very neutral look. So I'm going to be using this Afrique by Juvia's Place palette. And in that palette, I'm only going to be using one shade, which is the Cameron shade, um, which is also very close to my skin tone. Since my eyelashes are non-existent, I'm going to be using the Essence Volume Mascara to bring my lashes back to life and I'll continue to layer it until you can visibly see my lashes. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow palette as my blush and I'm using the orange shade because I feel like orange blush works well for my skin tone and it also helps to bring back warmth to my face. For that extra glow, I'll be using the Febo highlighter, which is a golden undertone, and I'll use it on my nose, forehead, chin, and the highest point of my cheeks. I'll also be using the setting spray again to keep the highlighter in place. To complete the look, I'll be using one of my favorite lipsticks, which is the MAC Ruby Wool Lipstick. And I'll be using the setting spray again for that dewy look and for that natural glow.
so that's it for my makeup tutorial please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Thank <laughs> you.